Good morning, Group 2, and this is the video for Wednesday's maths lesson for Group 2. I think I've said Group 2 already, and it is absolutely freezing in school. Um, so I'm sure it's like minus 10 in school. That's how cold it is. I'm not so bad, but I have to, I've got my fleece on, but I know lots of other people are kind of wearing their coats because it's that cold. Okay, so we're going to do some more subtraction, but we're all looking, more looking at the sort of mental methods today. So how we can sort of just work things out without kind of using a kind of uh, quite a rigid structure. But we'll have a look. So let's look at our in focus problem for today. OK, so uh, we've got there. It says think about ways to find the difference. So how do we find the difference? We subtract or we can say take away. Um, so to find the difference between 5,000 and 2,179. How could we do that? How can we find the difference? What would you do? Have a go. Work it out. Can you do it in your heads? Can you do it on a whiteboard? What method would you choose? So just talking about kind of what methods uh, we would do. Um... So we're tending to do sort of column subtraction at the moment, aren't we? So we could do that. Okay, 5,000 subtract 2,179. Okay, and put our place values on. So we've got our thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones. Now, what problem have we got straight away? So it's going to be a bit clunky, isn't it? It's going to be quite long to take all these numbers away. So I've got to do 0, take away 9. Can we do it? No. So I've got to go next door and exchange some numbers. But what problem have I got? Let's go next door but 1. Can we do that? It's still a 0. So we've now got to go all the way over here to our thousands. And this is, it can get a bit complicated. So it's like, okay, so I've got 5,000 there. And I need to take 1,000 off to put it into my hundred section. So now I've got 10 hundreds there. Okay, which is 1,000. But I need to get over here. I need to do this first calculation. We work from right to left. So I've got to take one of those hundreds off. So I did have ten hundreds. Now I've got nine. So I've got nine hundreds. And I'm going to put that hundred into my ten section. So now I've got ten tens. Ten times ten is... 100. So I've got 10 hundreds, but I still need to get over to my ones. So I'm going to change my 10 tens. I'm going to take one off, one 10 off, and that makes nine. 10 take away one is nine. And now I've got putting my 10 in here. So I've got a 10, or I can say it's 10 ones. So now I can do this calculation. But can you see how long it took? It took ages. We still haven't finished. So 10 take away 9. 1. 9 take away 7. 2. 9 take away 1. 8. And 4 take away 2. 2. Oh, it took ages, didn't it? Surely there must be a simpler way to do this. Can you have a think? So let me just show you using um, place value counters. So 5,000. And we want to take away 2,179. And like we said before, there we go. Uh, like we said before, what we've got to do it's because we had no hundreds, no tens, and no ones that we had to take a thousand. And we had to exchange that for ten hundreds. 
So I'm putting that there. Okay, so a thousand is the same as ten hundreds. Okay, but what I need to do is give myself some numbers here in the ones section. Because at the moment, I need to take away nine ones from no, from no ones. So I've now got ten hundreds. And I need to then exchange those. So I've ex well, exchanged them already, but I need to take 100 and put it into the tens column. Okay, so now I'm left with 900s and I'm left with 100 here, which is 10 tens.